Hi, welcome back. Hope you're keeping safe and well. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm showing you how to make a monkey gland. It's an incredibly off-putting name, but apparently back in the 1920s or the early 1900s, there was a doctor called Serge Vorenhoff who insisted that uh, attaching monkey testicles to uh, elderly Frenchmen would increase their vitality, their um, testosterone. So yeah, he was attaching monkey balls to people. Um, so this has a, yeah, that, that's why it's called a monkey gland. It's inspired by that, that doctor. Um, it's a bit of a tongue in cheek name, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't taste like monkey glands because that would be absolutely gross. <laughs> uh, this was created by Harry from Harry's New York Bar uh, in Paris. And he was the author of Bar Flies and Cocktails. And I've never tried it before. So let's get straight onto the drink and measure out 45 mil, 1.5 ounces. Thanks to Kyle, Kyle Helm for the bottle of gin. And then 45 mil of orange juice. This is freshly pressed, 45, 1.5 ounces. And then the recipe calls for five mil of grenadine. This is house made grenadine. I'll link to that video up there so you can check it out. So five mil, one bar spoon. And then likewise for the simple syrup. Five mil. One bar spoon. And if you want to, you can add the absinthe, which is five mil, one bar spoon, straight to the shaker. But I'm gonna line the glass instead um, and give it a good, good spray. Simple as that. Ice tea shaker and give it a shake. into a chilled stemmed cocktail glass after I give it a heavy dose of uh, absinthe. That smells good. Now, I'm not a big fan of using orange juice in a cocktail. Even people really like the blood and sand. It's not my cup of tea. So, fingers crossed, this is the one that that tips me over the edge to, to start using more orange juice and cocktails. Firstly, finish it with a orange twist. If you want, you can make it into a bit of a, a twirl. Uh, I'm not a big eccentric garnish person, person as you guys know, uh, but I'll link to a garnishing video up here. Very, very simple. It's all just like uh, lemon twists and stuff. I should improve my garnish game. It's pretty average. I just do a citrus twist on there. Make sure the drink tastes good, but I should up, up my game. Cheers. Citrusy, zesty, lots of orange oils on the top. Quite pleasant. That's, uh, that's really good. Um, very, very orangey. Uh, the, the gin's quite prominent. The, the botanicals, the dryness of that comes through. The the anise is actually very subtle. I think the the, the citric acid in the, the orange um, and the pomegranate flavor kind of overtakes the absinthe. So I definitely didn't put, even with those four sprays, that was, was not five mil in the cocktail. So I would like to try this again with five mil. Um, hell, I'll just give it a couple of sprays on top. And now that anise flavor is more prominent. Yes, I did spray it on top, so it's sitting sitting right there in my face. That's the first thing that hits my tongue, but this is probably the first orange juice cocktail that I like. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.